I recently spent $7 on a bundle of games from Fanatical, and while I could be using that haul to install and talk about something like Lovecraft's Untold Stories or Dark Devotion, I decided to go for the low-hanging fruit and download Koala Kids. Koala Kids is a $2 platformer released by Doomster Entertainment. On the cover, it looks like your bog-standard platformer that exists in 12 million iterations on Steam. The game itself consists of 20 worlds, each with their own set of levels, and the game takes roughly two hours to complete. But after beating Koala Kids, I came to the realization that it wasn't just a cute game about koalas. No, Koala Kids is a deep-cutting criticism of minimum wage work and the associated toxic consumer capitalism that perpetuates society. The koalas in the game are meant to represent minimum wage workers just trying to survive and look out for one another. In each level, your task is to gather vast amounts of wealth in the form of gems and gold coins. But that wealth isn't for you. No, that profit is to be voluntarily handed over to the wealthy business owner who holds your life and those of your fellow workers literally in his hands. You need to gather enough wealth or your fellow koalas collectively will be punished for your incompetence. And that means literally risking injury, learning how to properly exploit others for your own gain, causing reckless destruction when it suits your goal, and occasionally making tactical decisions of self-harm in order to get a few steps ahead. To keep you properly motivated, your boss will occasionally gift you meaningless tokens of fraudulent gratitude, such as a new hat. Your other reward is the occasional moment of peace and sanity with your liberated co-workers before you dive back into the workload. The creatures in the game are a clear analogy toward the toxic consumers that a worker will inevitably have to deal with. The hedgehog and aardvark are a passé sort that don't act with malice and are highly predictable, but pose a threat nonetheless to the inexperienced koala. Meanwhile, the koala is limited to juggling several tools between two inventory spaces, representing the arbitrary and meaningless impediments that could be easily solved but not for pointless workplace bureaucracy. The hunter, meanwhile, represents the destructive consumer whose only goal is to cause harm. The hunters don't want your money, they just want to see you suffer. I am of the mind that death in the game isn't so much literal as it represents wasted time, as your day's income drops to the ground and you get sent back to where you were just a few seconds to a minute prior. The consumer analogy isn't here to literally kill the koala, just to prevent them from efficiently doing their job. The traps in the game seemingly represent workplace hazards and the constant need of management to work around a problem rather than fix it. There are bushes, aka break rooms, to deal with the myriad of hunters and arrow traps. If they had time to put the strategic bushes down, you'd think it'd be just as easy to remove the arrow and spike traps. Not the case. As a worker, you're expected to navigate these anticipated and easily solvable problems that management refuses to get rid of and nobody seems to acknowledge because everyone's gone through it before. It's, at this point, just a part of the job. The creatures also inevitably end up triggering these, either purposely or ignorantly making the koala's life that much more difficult. The castle represents every poor wage earner's hope that if they just keep working for the system, maybe they too might have a castle of their own one day. It's a dream that capitalism perpetuates and is shown in the ending realization that it took 20 koalas to build that castle and they will likely be sharing a relatively cramped space in it as roommates, probably while thinking about how their parents managed to afford a castle with a fraction of the down payment. Maybe I'm right about this analogy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the fact that it's 3 in the morning and the sleeping pills I took have kicked in. If I don't remember scripting, writing, and publishing this in the morning, then we probably have an answer. Like and subscribe. <laughs>